Hi, this is Easy Engineering. Today's topic is the diesel cycle. Diesel cycle is an ideal thermodynamic cycle which makes your diesel fueled car to move and speed up by performing a four piston of the car's engine. So let's talk about it right away. First is the intake stroke. The piston moves down creating a partial vacuum while the intake valve opens drawing air into the cylinder. The piston moves down up to the bottom dead center or the lowest point on our stroke. Second is a compression stroke. Now the intake valve is closed already and the air is compressed by the piston up to the point where it reaches the top dead center or the highest point on our stroke and the pressure and temperature are enough for combustion. Then the fuel injector sprays an atomized fuel. Third stroke is the power stroke. As the fuel absorbs heat from the compressed air, it will vaporize and boom, there goes your combustion. The combustion will force the piston to move down, rotating the crankshaft and of course your car's wheels. The last stroke, our fourth stroke, is the exhaust stroke. The high temperature and high pressure and burnt gases from the combustion will then be evacuated from the cylinder into the atmosphere through the pressure difference of the cylinder and atmosphere and the movement of piston going up while the exhaust valve is open. Now before we end the video, let's answer the million dollar question. What is the difference between gasoline engine and diesel engine? Mm -hmm. The answer is, diesel engine has no spark plug. It has a compression ratio higher than the gasoline which means it compresses an air into a larger volume up to the point where the diesel fuel can be combusted without the need of a spark plug providing heat. So that's all. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. See you again for our other easy and fun engineering topics. Easy Engineering. Engineering topics made easy and fun for you.